<clears throat> Hello. Mm. Really spontaneously picked up my um, camera, my laptop to record because mm, I'm taking a lunch break right now, Monday. Um, you know, feeling re refreshed from the weekend, so good time to turn on the camera. But I'm having some kimchi soup that I made with some brown rice. Mm. I love kimchi soup so much. It used to be what I ordered at the Korean restaurant every time I went. And it's so comforting. And um, I just thought, you know, it's not something I want to make. Something I want to do and go out and eat because I enjoy it so much. But I finally made it for the first time last week. And it was so, so, so easy that I've just, um, I made it again today and it's perfect it's for like, for my food meals for the whole week. It's still bubbling a little, but it's great to just kind of let it keep stewing and it'll taste better the longer you have it. But it also has so much kimchi in it that it's like months old. So it has so much good flavor and there's some rice I made, but that there's just, oh, it's so comforting. There's like so much good flavor in it. But yeah, um, I didn't even bother to put makeup on today or whatever. I'm just going to have a, like, a nice, fresh, non-makeup day. Um, but the reason I was like, oh, let me um, get out my camera is because I just got this package delivered that I kind of wanted to, like, open up and share. Mm. I'm going to take my hair down because I'm still a little bit vain. I kind of just, like, want to have my hair. But, um... So not really an update, to, but I mean, life's going pretty well. I'm not as burnt out as I was last time. I hope that I can just like clear that up and not leave, you know, like a really depressing video up as my most recent video. But I've been saying no to a lot more projects and projects can't always be like crazy. So the work I've been doing slowly, like, you know, paid off. Um, I've had more, I've just said no to more projects and, um, I've been able to just focus on two projects right now. And so that's been wonderful. I like, I feel inspired to actually work on them and able to focus and to like spend, have space to kind of like keep thinking through them. And that's really how I enjoy it. Nothing's enjoyable if you're like, you gotta deliver this by the end of the day. Like, Oh, you, 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 we don't have a writer. You need to come and write this thing right now. So it's like, that's not why I like writing, obviously. But it is part of the job. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place. Sorry. So I'm going to get some water real quick. But um, long story short, life is good. I'm trying to enjoy all that summer has to offer, blah, blah, blah. Trying to take some little trips on the weekends. Um, traveling is kind of such a bitch and so expensive. I'm not really going anywhere far. I'm just doing little weekend trips, road trips, um, and then I'm just going to LA for a little while later this year. But I uh, had some wedding invites to like destination weddings, but at the moment I, I don't think that is going to me. It's not really not what I need right now, so just kind of like decided to just opt out of those. Just throw money at the problem. Give the bride and groom lots of money. It's still a lot less than I would spend on a plane ticket and hotel and stuff. And just like, just take it easy. Um, I feel like I've been really good at taking it easy though. As long as work doesn't stress me out. But um, okay, I just made a little bit of a drink. I was craving juice, but I didn't have any. So I decided to use this like watermelon beauty powder thing. Oh no, yeah. It's not sweet though. It, doesn't, it just tastes like watermelon. Um, 
I am gonna unbox this grocery order that I did. So I've never used Wee before, but the other day I was craving ramen. Or more like spicy, like vermicelli, like Szechuan food, like cold spicy noodles. So I've, um, it was like 11 p.m. I was like, I'm just gonna make an order on Wee. I work hard, I deserve this. And um, I don't really like grocery delivery, but going to a 99 Ranch is kind of like a long ordeal. And I, you know, I love grocery shopping, but like having to drive 30 minutes to go to the 99 Ranch near me and then like navigate all of the stressful parking, it's always packed. And then like, I never know what to get when I'm actually in the store weirdly for 99 because I didn't grow up eating a lot of I grew up eating fast food and like junk food, but not Asian junk food, like Asian instant meals and stuff like that. Other than Maruchan ramen, which I, it's not even Chinese, but like I've never, my parents don't, obviously they're older generation. They don't buy like newfangled, like instant like food and like engineered products, you no, know, from the Asian stores. So it's very new territory for me. And it's probably just kind of a lot of new products always coming out in the Asian community anyway. So I never know what to get when I'm at 99. I end up just like getting a sticky rice, like a sticky rice cake or something, which I really like, but there's all these noodles and like, it's overwhelming. So I actually thought, let me just like do it at home online. Maybe there'll be even more options available too and um, just get it for delivery. So that's what I did. I'm guessing this top bag is the frozen dumplings or something that I ordered. So yeah, I think they um, the way they do it is not so much like Instacart where they have like a personal shopper who like drives to you, but this is like a little bigger, larger of a window of delivery time. So I would be getting it any time during the day today, which is really great if you're working from home, not great otherwise. But, um, and then just one person loads up like a big van. I don't know where they stock this stuff, maybe a warehouse, and then they like do the rounds. So it looks like only one person or two people in this whole region, like my whole area, probably handle like the day's deliveries. But, um, very interesting. This I didn't know this was gonna be frozen. I got two packs because I needed to hit the grocery minimum. I got two packs of spicy beef tendon. I love beef tendon. I almost never eat it. I always get it at like Sichuan restaurants on the occasion that I ever go, but very popular cold dish. I just love tendon. It's so chewy, it's so fun. Oh, we got ice pack. We got, this bag is pretty useful, I'm gonna keep this silver bag. We've got these um, wontons, which I believe are the, I've had before. Um, I believe my, I really hope so. I really hope these are the same wontons that my um, my family friend member had left over once and like gave it to us so we would, so I ate them and I thought they were really good. They're really, really unhealthy for you. Like, I mean, they're really, really high in fat. It's like, they just use pork fat or something. Um, and it's spinach and pork. So I am so excited. I hope these are the wontons. Um, you just can't make them at, like this at home. First of all, I don't buy lard and I also don't like use MSG and all this stuff. Um, yes, MSG is very much a part of this. So, put these in the freezer for now. And the rest should be all like instant food. <laughs> like instant noodles and whatnot. Let's see. Mm. It's a cute box. It's got like produce on it. Of course, I didn't order any produce. There is a lot of Chinese specific, like Asian grocery produce that I love, but nothing I like crave that I can't get at an American like grocery store, like a more well-stocked American grocery store. So I just 
I don't usually do that, but I do when I visit my parents. Okay, so these are all prepared for them. Actually, it doesn't look, doesn't look like a lot. I felt like I ordered a ton when I was doing it. Okay, Sichuan flavor is like my favorite kind of flavor. My grandma's side of the family is from there. I'm very proud. I, I want it, like, I kind of hope, wish that I was all Sichuan knees be because of the food, but it's not true. Um, a lot of my family is also from basically just Beijing and also from Hangzhou, which is another amazing region, but I personally don't care for the food as much. Sichuan food is heavy in sourness, spiciness, and um, just very strong flavors. Basically, I break out whenever I eat it, but it's so good. So this is Sichuan spicy flavored ban mian, which is just like a tossed noodle. It looks like an egg-based noodle. However, it is not. It looks like it's vegan. So I got this called the lazy noodle. Never seen it before, so I wouldn't never seen this in the store either. Um, sour soup vermicelli. This sounds just straight up my alley. Like I love rice noodles. I love soup. I love sour. I love pickles. I love this package design. I got one pack of. There's no English on here. I'm gonna say it's a. Uh, it's like a wide potato starch noodle that is also heavy on the spicy and sour. This says red oil. So it's like a chili oil, um, often used with, actually I was thinking some, sometimes people use this for hot pot, but um, I think this is just for a dish. These are all shelf stable, kind of scary. Um, this is hot and sour rice noodles. I actually don't like the thick round rice noodles as much, but I really wanted to try a little, like anything hot and sour. Ooh, I got lychee sparkling fizzy water. Cause I, again, to meet my grocery de delivery minimum. And I really, really want this. Let's try it. Mm. It's like a zero calorie thing. It smells better than it tastes. It smells like a, it smells like canned lychee, which is the only kind of lychee I used to have when I was a kid. When I lived in Ohio, there was like no lychee, but we would buy cans of lychee. So good. Oh, I love this packaging. Sour and spicy noodle. You really, it's basically the only thing I, I got today. Um, this is a wheat noodle though. And I love that you can see all that like sesame chili oil in there. It's got like two packets. It has a um, disposable fork, even though I feel like you would still need some accoutrement when you eat this, you would need a bowl or something. But regardless, that's another one. And I got this, that's all I got. I, this is my last thing, instant vermicelli combo pack. Another vermicelli, this is a thin one, which is what I love. And I was ordering a bunch of different flavors of this, but then I just got this combo pack, which probably doesn't have flavors, all the flavors I love. Oh, it's like a little duffel bag. Um, but each one has, a, it's a different flavor and it doesn't have English on it, so I'm just gonna have to find out. This is probably, Oh, it's a person eating. Okay, I thought it was a chicken. Um, based on this color, you know, doesn't it look like chicken? But it's got, this one is really different. This looks like a pickled radish. This one is really red. So then there's a green one in there. Um, so I'll just put these back in the thing. Then, Basically, I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. Um, I will try to do something more profound or like, I mean, not that that's always fun, but I might do more updates soon. I'm gonna try really hard actually, because I have some free time. So I'm gonna leave it there, but I'm well and I hope you're doing well and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.